Hello, welcome to Troop Finances. Are you ready to get started? We'll be learning the four pieces of Troop Finances, opening the Troop Bank account, filling out the ACH form and the Troop Finance report, and determining which expenses are acceptable for Troop funds. When you first start meeting with your troop, you'll need to get the girls registered and discuss troop dues to help pay for Girl Scout activities. If you are given anything more than $50, or you have more than $50 of the troop's money at once, it's time to open an account. Try to pick a bank that does not charge any fees and has free checking accounts available. Opening a bank account takes two. You can be one, but the second person can't be from your household or related to you. He or she also has to be an approved volunteer. For more information, see the Quick Start chapter of the VERG, especially the section labeled Managing Your Finances. Just remember, it takes two. Let's review what you've learned with a few questions. How many signatories are needed to open a true bank account? What qualifications must your second signer have? True or false? You have to open a bank account, if you haven't already, when you get $50 in troop funds. While you still have the second signer with you, now is a good time to fill out the ACH or Automatic Clearinghouse form. It's used to automatically debit the troop bank account for money owed to the council on pre-scheduled dates during the fall product or cookie product programs. Just remember this, you need to have the ACH on file at council to take part in either of the product programs. So make it easy on yourself and get it filled out and turned in right after you open your bank account. Like opening an account, it takes two. Start by filling out your troop number, then fill out the form with the second signer's assistance. On the second page, attach a voided check or a letter from the bank stating the troop name, account number, and routing number. Then fill out the bank information below. Finally, sign the bottom of the second page and have the second person do the same. Now it's time to send this form with the attachments to the Finance Department at the Council Headquarters in Columbus. If you want more details, you can find them in the Quick Start chapter of the VERG, particularly the section labeled Managing Your Finances. Are you ready for some more review questions? First, what is the ACH for? What goes on the second page of the ACH? Mark all answers that are valid. When is the ACH due? Mark all reasonable choices. Now that you have an account in money, it's time to keep track of them. That's what the finance report is for. You can find it on the Girl Scouts of Ohio's Heartland website through the Volunteers tab under Forms. It's vital that the report is filled out and turned in twice a year, on December 1st and June the 1st. For date reminders, check the VERG in the Quick Start chapter in the Managing Your Finances section. Let's practice filling out the report with some sample information. Jane Leader is the main leader of Girl Scout Troop 0001. They meet in the awesome service unit. Since we just started meeting in October 1st, that will be our report start date. If you're not new, you'd start with the end of last season's report, June 2nd. Also, since the report will be turned in by December the 1st, the end date is November 30th. Make sure you fill in the year on your report before you turn it in. We'll fill out the section about cash in hand later. Next, we need to write down what the troop's plan for the money is. Jane's girls want to go camping the next spring. 
The next space is where we'll fill in any in-kind contributions to the troop. In-kind means things that are not money, like tape, scissors, and so on. Let's write down 10 pounds of soil from Star Nursery and five potted plants valued at $20 total. We'll fill out troop account information next. For the sample troop, that's account number 00010. The bank is the GST Bank, and the two authorized account signers are Jane Leader and her assistant, Daisy Smith. Complete the contact information, sign, and date the bottom of this section before you go to the next page. The second page is where we'll note troop revenues and expenses between the dates we gave on the first page. Since the troop started on October 1st, let's put that date down with a starting point of zero cash on hand, zero cash in the bank, and zero dollars total where it says balance forward. Remember to write items down in the report as soon as you get the chance. If you want to keep any income as cash, like the troop dues, mark the items separately. On October 8th, Jane received the registration fees and troop dues, totaling $155. Write registration fees in the item box, 105 in the income box, and 105 in the bank column and the total box. Then write troop dues in the item box, 50 in the income box, 50 in cash in hand, and 155 in total. If parents decide to register their daughters through Cora, you don't need to show that money on the finance report. Now we'll deduct the registration fees for council. Let's pay for them on 1016, writing registration fees in the item box, 105 in the expenses box, and adjusting the cash in bank box to zero. The total will now be $50. The troop finished the fall product program, and the girls did really well, selling $500 worth of nuts, candy, and magazines. On November the 7th, they collected and deposited the $500 from the sale, of which $80 were true profits. Put all $500 in the income and bank column, and adjust the total column to include all 500. The very next day, Council automatically removed their $420 from the troops account, leaving the $80 profit. Write Council Withdrawal for Fall Products in the item box, 420 in the expenses column, and change the cash and bank column to $80. Finally, adjust the total box to show $130. This is why you need the ACH form. On 11-19, Jane stopped at a local nursery to pick up some seeds for the troop garden. She got five packets at $2 each. Right on the item line, Seeds for Scout's Garden, and on the expense column, $10. It's not that much, so subtract $10 from the cash in hand, leaving $40. There is still 80 in the bank column, and a new total of 120 Let's try one more transaction that is a little more complicated. On the same day, 
Jane picked up some extra journey books, but paid for them with her own credit card because she didn't have enough cash. She paid herself back with a check later. When you do this, follow this example. Enter the date. Write check to Jane for journey books in the item buying. And then write the total for the books in the expenses category. Let's say $56. Adjust the bank to show $24 and edit the total to $64. Always make sure you hold on to receipts in case anyone wants to check your records, but enter the information into the financial report as soon as you can. For more information about when reimbursement is acceptable, see the Quick Start chapter of the VERG, especially the section titled Managing Your Finances. The TRIP's financial report is almost finished. Initial and date the form below the last entry. Back on the first page, Jane still has $24 in the bank and $40 in cash on hand. This section has to be completed before you turn it in. Make a copy of all the bank statements during the reported date, initial all the pages with your second signer, and copy the finance report. Give the copies to the service unit representative or treasurer. Congratulations! You're all done with this season's report. If you are worried about doing all of this yourself, why not teach your girls to help? All girls can help in some way. For example, daisies and brownies can help collect the dues, though you still have to handle the funds and fill out the report. Juniors can do that and volunteer to be a troop treasurer. They can even keep track of dues records. Cadets and higher can do all of that, plus help determine how much dues should be. If you get the girls to help, there will be less stress on you and they will be learning valuable financial skills for the future. This information is also found in the finances section of the Quick Start chapter in the VERG. Look for a portion that's titled Understanding Financial Abilities by Grade Level. Let's practice the first page of the financial report. Leader Sarah Porter started a new troop on September 8, 2014 in the Northern Service Unit, numbered 23456. The girls have already started planning for next year. They really want to do the COSI overnight as a troop. Fill in the blanks below with the given information and what you have learned. Sarah's troop received a microscope from Lab Tech Company in Columbus, Ohio, valued at $100 this fall for use on the journey. They also made $100 from the fall product sale. They opened an account at GST Bank, number 98766. Sarah Porter is one signer for the account, and the other is her assistant leader, Rosie Jones. Please fill in the rest of the report with this info. When is the financial report due? Select all correct choices. We're down to the last part of troop finances, figuring out which expenses are acceptable and which aren't. Here are a few things that can be considered appropriate troop expenses. Things bought or used to benefit the whole troop, like transportation and activity costs. By transportation, we mean things like gas on the way to camp or renting a vehicle for the troop to use with the parent's consent. Activity fees can be anything from a babysitting course through the council to paying for a service unit overnight. If you're looking at a council pick a program or to go camping at a Girl Scout camp, they also count. Training is also a necessary activity, especially if you're taking it to meet camping guidelines. First aid, Camping training, even archery training can all be deducted from the troop if you need it and they have the funds. Supplies are also an acceptable expense and there are many different categories of supplies. Camping supplies can be food, first aid supplies, fuel, and more. Girl Scout handbooks, badge books, and journey books are also supplies. Craft supplies can be anything from tape to crayons and much, much more. 
If you use them regularly, or the girls need them for something special, get them. Badges, pins, and awards that the girls earn are also acceptable expenses. If you are a new troop, you might plan to use troop funds to get the sashes all at once. For a big purchase like that, make sure you discuss it with parents first. If you plan to just get one, the parents and the girls have to approve of it before you get it. Troop funds shouldn't be spent on just one person. Remember that comment about troop funds for one person? Those kinds of expenses are not geared for the whole troop, so they should not be paid for with troop money. Coffee for you before a crazy meeting? Personal and unacceptable. This rule also applies to maintenance fees. If the troop meets at your house and you don't have enough money to pay a utility bill, don't use troop funds. Getting your car's oil changed or getting a tune-up is also not a troop concern, so don't use troop money. Emergency maintenance is also unacceptable. If you get a flat tire on the way to camp, that's a personal cost. If you injured yourself on an unrelated adventure and are in the hospital, this is a personal emergency and is also an unacceptable expense. Leading a Girl Scout troop or group should never cause undue hardship on a family or a troop budget. Plan carefully and discuss troop finances with girls, parents, and other leaders on a regular basis. If you have any questions about the appropriateness of withdrawing funds for a specific troop need, contact your staff member or service unit team. There are also rules about appropriate fundraising activities, which you can learn more about from the Managing Group Finances chapter of the VERG, especially the section about money earning basics. We are down to the final review questions. Which of these items are acceptable if the parents approve of it first? Pick all the answers that apply. Which of these items are unacceptable? Pick all the answers that apply. Which item from the list is an unacceptable use of troop money? Which item from the list is an acceptable expense for troop money? Congratulations! Congratulations. You're all You're set, all set, to, set, to, set to set up your troop finances. finances. Make sure you Make download, sure you the, download certificate the certificate for your, for your records. records. Feel free to come Feel back, free to and, come refresh back and refresh your memory anytime. anytime.